माइनस सिक्स सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट सेवन प्लस एट नाइंटी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फोर माइनस क्वेश्चन मार्क इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व नाइंटी फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव again if you have gone through the video what video the speed maths video and the simplification video you would you know realize that there is a very simple way of answering such questions right it has got only additions and subtractions only those uh, arithmetic sum has to be calculated right arithmetic sum has to be obtained here you have to find out what comes in place of question mark then if you start putting the numbers one above the other right 1237 676.768 97 1294 and then do that addition and subtraction you are wrong your answer will be correct but your method is absolutely wrong there is no point in putting down the numbers again in a row or in a column there and then do the simplification right gone are those days when we used to do it now that you are writing a competitive exam you have to be smart you have to keep it as simple as possible that the easiest way of answering such questions is to do a, a place by place sum instead of taking a number as a whole we will take one of the digits right and same position everywhere Try to simplify that part, right? Like, for example, first simplify the unit spaces, then simplify the ten spaces, then hundred spaces, hundred so spaces, and so on. In fact, that's exactly what we do when we put all the numbers in a column. But you need to now do that without writing those numbers, right? So, how do we start? We always start from right to left, right? For example, here every number has got uh, a decimal there, right? Decimal after two places. So, first simplify the rightmost digit, right? And then keep moving towards the left till you arrive at the final answer. Okay, now before you do that, you need to understand that question mark will come on the right hand side, and this twelve ninety four point two five will go to on the left hand side. All right. Now this minus question mark when it comes here becomes plus question mark, and twelve ninety four point two five when it goes there becomes minus twelve ninety four point two five. All right. So basically these two will interchange the positions. Question mark comes here and this goes there. I don't no need to write it again. Right. Don't don't write it again and waste your time. Just remember that when you are calculating, this should be taken as Minus twelve ninety four point two five. Now start working. Minus keep this uh, sign in uh, mind there. Minus six, right? Minus six plus seven. This is plus seven. Minus six plus seven plus one. Plus one plus four plus five. Plus five and minus five. Remember this is like minus for us because it goes on the side. So plus one plus four was plus five. Plus five minus five is zero. So zero is the rightmost digit of your answer then move on to the next digit minus 7 right minus 7 minus 7 plus 8 plus 1 right minus 7 plus 8 is plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 is plus 4 plus 4 minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 is minus 2 so plus 4 minus 2 is 2 so 2 comes in the next place then we have a decimal here right like in every number we have got a decimal after two places and also keep in mind that when you are doing such kind of when you are solving such a question if the decimal is not balanced as in some numbers have decimal after two places some of them have a decimal after three places and so on you need to balance it first how do you do put zeros put you know appending zeros so that the digits after the decimal are balanced the number of digits after the decimal are balanced right i think we have taken that example in the simplification video so that's about the uh, decimal part now let's move on to the next part unit space Minus six plus seven plus one plus one plus seven plus eight plus eight minus four is four. Tens place minus seven plus three minus four minus four plus nine is plus five plus five minus nine. Understand? This is minus seven. All right, minus seven. We have already we have already done the unit space part here. Minus six minus six plus seven was plus one plus one plus seven is plus eight. Plus eight minus four gives us four. All right. Now go for ten space. Minus seven plus three. Minus seven plus three. Right. What happens? Minus seven plus three. Minus seven plus three is minus four. Minus four plus nine is plus five. Plus five minus nine. Now plus five minus nine is minus four. But do we take minus four in the digit here in the next place here? No. We don't take minus four. so what do you do generally when we get a negative answer we try to borrow one from the next uh, digit right and find out the solution right are you able to follow when you look at only the tens places here minus 7 plus 3 uh, plus 9 and minus 9 all 
all right so minus 7 or if you look at it will say plus 9 and minus 9 anyway gets cancelled minus 7 plus 3 is how much minus 4 so we are left with minus 4 i cannot take a minus 4 here so what do we do now you know from a positive number this is a positive number here make this 100 space we are borrowing 1 from 2 so 2 becomes 1 and this becomes 13 are you able to follow 2 is 1 and this becomes 13 now do the calculation minus 7 plus 13 is plus 6 plus 6 plus 9 is plus 15 plus 15 minus 9 is how much plus 15 minus 9 is 6 so this becomes 6 i hope you are able to follow right minus 7 plus 13 is plus 6 plus 6 plus 9 is uh, plus 15 plus 15 minus 9 will give you 6 here or otherwise we are left with minus 4 minus 4 right for example like this is like this 0 minus 4 we get minus 4 so what do we do we borrow 1 from the next place this becomes 10 10 minus 4 will give you 6 so you don't have to do the complete calculation again just strike something borrow 1 from that and it was minus 4 so 0 minus 4 becomes 10 minus 4 10 minus 4 will give you 6 now do it for 100 space right minus 6 you can take both Thousand space and ten space, hundred space here. Thousand and ten space. Minus six plus eleven plus five plus five plus eight plus thirteen plus thirteen minus twelve. We are not looking only at hundred space. We are looking both. We are we are taking both hundred space and thousand space. You can do individually also. Nothing wrong with that, right? So anyway, minus six plus eleven plus five plus five plus eight plus thirteen plus thirteen minus twelve plus one. So your answer should be one sixty four point two, which is option two. All right. Maybe explanation takes. A little more time but if you practice this way i'm sure you'll be able to get the answers faster right i think solve a few questions maybe you'll you'll get stuck in some of them right i'm sure you'll get stuck in some of them your answers will not match then try to understand what is the uh, point where you are going wrong right where is where exactly are you going wrong all right this looks to be simple but then can get complicated when the final answer is going to be negative right so i want you to practice more and more on such questions now don't ask me where do we get such questions from you frame your own question do the calculation in a calculator mark the answer i mean remember the answer and then try to do it this way and check if your answers are matching or not 